Chantel Hardabis, the mother of a teenage girl, are desperately seeking answers following her daughter's suicide last Friday, 24 March. A sad Kululwa Manjana Duka said she and 16-year-old Oyama Duka were alone at their residence in Mabekweni on the day of the incident. She and her younger sister shared a room, and her sister left around 07.30 for school, she related. Oyama didn't go to school because she said she wasn't writing exams on the day. After I locked the front door when my other daughter left I went back to bed, and Oyama was also still in bed. A few minutes after getting back into the bed I got up again to go the bathroom, and to get to the bathroom I have to walk past Oyama's bedroom. Manjana Duka said on her way to the bathroom she had the sudden urge to check on Oyama. I knocked once and opened the door and she was standing in front of the window. I called her and she didn't respond. I then walked up to her to ask why she didn't respond when I called her. I tapped on her shoulder and saw something wasn't right. She had a shoelace tied around her neck. According to Manjana Duka she called the neighbors for help. When the neighbors got to the house, Manjana Duka said, her daughter still had a pulse. They rushed her to a local hospital in Paral. At the hospital the nurse told me to open a file for Oyama, but while I, I was busy with that they called me. The doctor explained they tried to give her oxygen, but there was nothing else they could do. She died shortly afterwards. Manjana Duka described Oyama as a quiet young girl who spoke only when spoken to. She was in grade 10 at Norder Parle High School. Talking about Oyama's death is still unreal for Manjana Duka, but the worst part is that she doesn't know why she did what she did. After I got back from the hospital I searched through her room in the hope that she might have written an incident. Letter. The neighbors helped me, but there was nothing. She didn't have many friends. But I did ask those she had if she had said Oyama Duka anything to them. One friend told me Oyama said she missed her father, but she had never mentioned anything to me or her siblings. Her father died in 2013 when she was just seven years old. I am hoping that someone out there has more answers for me and will reach out to me so that I can at least know why. Oyama was a talented drum majorette and was a member of the of Drakenstein majorettes team. Her coaches Mavine Pulse de Villiers and Rudin de Koch said they would remember her fondly for her infectious smile and bristling energy, which showed when she was participating in a competition. She started as a shy young lady in grade 8 at Norder Parle High School and developed into a strong, beautiful young lady we were extremely proud of, de Villiers said. She started off with the team since the birth of Drakenstein Majorettes in 2020 and the entire team and management will miss her dearly. Rest in peace, young soul. Oyama would have celebrated her 17th birthday on 30 April. Wo N. Seba Vanga, Mabekwent police spokesperson, said Parle Hospital informed the police of the an inquest docket has been opened and is being investigated by detectives, he said. No foul play is suspected.